Aloha. I'm Darren Lee, and this is Burning Love. One, two, one, two, three, four. My uh, mother played his records since the day I was born. I was probably three years old when I first heard Hound Dog. Just thinking that was the most exciting thing I'd ever heard. So I'd grab a tennis racket or a broomstick or something, just like every other kid, and run around the house pretending, you know, I was this guy behind that record. Had no idea who he was. There was a radio show uh, called The Elvis Presley Story, which was 13 hours and it was broadcast the weekend that Elvis died, and I listened to that from beginning to end. You hear all these songs, and it's just like, that's when it started. And around the same time, I, uh, I, was, I was in uh, grade six, and I was, uh, for our homeroom teacher, we had a Catholic nun, and the Catholic nun was starting to put together a choir. So I was one of the 73 kids that was in, in the choir, and my dad had bought my mom a guitar that she never learned how to play, and I started, the Catholic nun taught me how to play the, the, the chords that I needed to play the choir music. And after a while, I found out that those chords sounded exactly like blue suede shoes. We'd go and we'd uh, sing in old folks' homes. We sang in church every Sunday. And that's when it all started. And so then I took what she taught me, and I started to sing in lounges when I got to be a teenager and, and put my first band together and then went on and, and became an Elvis tribute artist. I always wanted to have a production with, with, uh, that I was a part of that was my own. When I was in Las Vegas for 11 years in the American Superstar show, I was just an act in the show that featured five other acts. I uh, came to uh, Maui in 2007, and I went and I saw uh, Lou out here in, in Maui. And I saw a dancer on stage, and her backdrop was the, was the ocean. And I kind of had, a, if you call it, a vision of myself on that stage saying, someday I will come and do a show here in Maui. A friend of mine came to visit me in Las Vegas, and... Uh, I presented him with the idea of, of putting on an Elvis Luau, and he said, yeah, I'll, that'd be great, we'll do it. So we uh, came to Maui, and uh, my partner Mike uh, started putting together the lighting, the sound system, started building a stage, and he got in contact with uh, the uh, person that runs uh, the Maui Theater here, and they said we'd like to have a meeting with him. and. Uh, after a very lengthy meeting, basically presented us with the idea, how would you like to come and do a show here in the Maui Theater? And here we are. And it's a uh, dream come true to finally get here and do this. I never envisioned that it'd be like this. You know, when we started putting together the luau, it would be like a normal luau just adding Elvis into the mix, but not a big production like this. The story, it should be more about the songs and the music that Elvis did in Hawaii, and it was just the concept of presenting some of the different scenes that Elvis had performed at here in Hawaii during his lifetime. So he was here in 1957, did a concert in Honolulu. Uh, in 1961, he came back and did a benefit performance to raise funds to build the U.S.'s Arizona Memorial. So we're recreating some of that moments. Then he came and he did the three uh, Hawaiian movies, which we do a lot of the songs and reenact certain costumes, certain moves. And then uh, he's most well known in Hawaii for the Aloha from Hawaii special. When we came in to start rehearsing, my job was to rehearse the band. And the choreographer already had started working on the dancing. So we never really blended until you know, three days later, then you brought the music and the dancing together and, and, and saw how well they melded together. I have uh, a very good group here. I have fantastic singers, first of all. Their, their harmonies blend fantastically and the energy level is equal to mine and I need that energy level to put it out to the, the audience and stuff and, and uh, couldn't have worked out better. I always knew that the relationship between Elvis and Hawaii was stronger than it is in any other part of the country or the world. They consider him just as much of an icon as what they did when he was first here. 
and that's awesome. And that's what I saw the other night was that these people love Elvis more than anybody. A portion of the proceeds from the tickets go to feed the Maui, to, to the food bank. But when you find out that there's actually a hundred families that will benefit by me coming out here and shaking it every single night, I'll shake it out here and you won't, you'll have to pay me to stop. You know, that, that is so cool. You know, you, everybody can say, yeah, we gave money, we gave money. But when you hear a family eight tonight because of something that was started in Canada, uh, that's the best gift in the world. They're going to hopefully learn something about Elvis's relationship with Hawaii, and I know I will. I want them to get the feeling, not necessarily that they saw Elvis, I want them to get the feeling what it would have been like to maybe see Elvis. The energy level that, that I project and the moves and all this sort of stuff. You may not leave here saying, man, that was Elvis. Hopefully you will leave here saying that was the closest thing that I ever saw to Elvis. Hey.